All right, Stevie, Nico, we've got a couple of FA Cup games to look back on. Two Premier League teams against lower opposition. We had Liverpool taking on Shrewsbury and Spurs taking on Markham. I'll start with Liverpool. It was good to see some of the youngsters, but one mm. player I know you'd like to talk about after this game is Fabinho. Yeah, well, I guess we're, we're so used to Mohamed Salah stepping up on penalty kicks. I mean, no surprise, Liverpool won this game. We expected it. Yes, as you said, they got a little bit of a fright when they went behind, but the, the game was never, never going to be in any doubt. Uh, and so I guess the one thing we did learn is who's taking the penalty kicks if Salah's not either there, injured, suspended, whatever it may be. And he answered Fabinho. Uh, so that's really the only thing I'm taking out of this game. Uh, other than, yes, we saw some, some young lads playing. Uh, but no surprise, Liverpool win. But at least we know we've got two penalty takers now. Oh, that's good to know, right? Uh, yeah, and obviously Jurgen Klopp's back, so everybody's happy to see that. As for Spurs, they also got a scare early on from Markham. In fact, it took them a while to get their way back into this game. The final 15 minutes is where everything changed for them. Antonio Conte can't be too happy with that, even though they have gone through in the end, Stevie. Yeah, if, if if anybody just looks at the result, they'll say, well, yeah, it was expected. But I'll tell you what, up until the goalkeeper made a horrendous error from a, a Harry Winks free kick. Yes, it was a great ball that was thrown in from a wide area, but he wasn't trying to score. The goalkeeper's completely misjudged the flight, stepped towards it, realised he's going to get under it. And all of a sudden, the ball's in the back of the net and it's 1-1. And you know it's over. Um I certainly didn't think it would be over before the 90 minutes, but my goodness, was it ever. Spurs came back with a bang, they ended up getting three goals. It looks comfortable on paper, but I'll tell you what, before, uh, before the likes of Harry Kane came on, um, this was very uncomfortable. Spurs were yeah, and it not the best at all. Looks as though that's a bit of a dilemma for, obviously, Conte, play Kane or not, who's going to get the goals without him? Obviously, he only got the last goal in this game, as they did come through 3-1. Um, poor Markham, though, you probably thought, and they probably thought they could at least hold on for extra time. But mm. let's say, I know that they were both at the, at the Premier League grounds in these games, and I know it's always lovely to see the replay so that they can take it back to their grounds. Right. But in one sense, has the fact and the way that things are going this season... Has the one-and-done style game in the FA Cup this year made it a bit more interesting? I think so, uh, no question. Um, you know, the, really the only reason for a replay is to give the minnows a chance to make money because there's nothing else makes sense. It certainly doesn't suit Premier League sides. It certainly doesn't suit anybody right now uh, with the pandemic going on. Uh, and yes, it does make it, in my opinion, more exciting uh, because even though you might be going into extra time against the Premier League side, in the back of their mind, they're still a little bit scared that there's an upset. And of course, if you've, if you've gotten yourself to extra time, you must be doing something right. So, yeah, I would agree with you that the, the one and done certainly makes sense. Extra time, penalties if needed. But unfortunately, I don't think that the... the the minnows, shall we say, are going to vote for this in the future. Once we get things back to normal, there's no question. They will want to have replays because, one, they get money. And actually, it could be the difference between some clubs staying afloat and actually disappearing. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.